Okay, people. Today, I just have to say something. I mean, I'm really upset and I'm feeling kind of like out of it because I've seen something on uh, CNN News that was very disturbing. I didn't know what was going on in Haiti about uh, earthquakes and the uh, children trafficking and organ children and organ trafficking. All right. Now, I understand that you know we try to do things in life that try to extend and help. Other people, but I mean, people are gonna hate me, but I really can't see how people are trying to play God. I mean, you know, I understand that it's a long life, it's a good thing, but when it's the person's time to go, then nothing you can do about it. They really need to, I mean, I know what I'm going to pass one day. I, mean, I told you, I made a video about death, and I can accept it. But when you start getting to the point where you want to harvest, or, I mean, taking out a body because of an earthquake, I mean, that's the thing. I understand what is going on with the world. I mean, seriously, I can't understand it, that a person have a tragic moment. A tragedy strikes us like terribly wrong. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, the worst tragedy, the thing that can happen to a tragedy is death. But I mean, to not even respect that is really like we getting out of hand. People, I'm serious. Like, I don't know. I just have to say this. I mean, what we need. So we have lost our minds, seriously, just went off the deep end or whatever, you know, that's like, if I was to say the F word, but I'm going to hold my feet on that one. That, but that really is what, what's going on. I mean, these people are like devastated from the earthquake in the first place. And anything that goes on in the world, like tsunamis and all these other things, I mean, it's like a natural disaster. The uh, earth is evolving and earth is changing. I mean, things are going to happen. But when you get to the point where, okay, in Asia, they're trafficking young kids, prostitution, and everything like that. Uh, uh, I can't see that. All right. And then and now they're talking about the Haiti. They're doing the same thing, but they're doing it, you know, to a point where it's the most disgusting thing I think about is to take bodies, you know, like harvest them for the poor. I mean, okay, so you rich, you got money, you want to live like like with somebody else's heart. I can deal. See, that time when they did that with the baby uh, that was dying and needed that heart transplant, and they took the pig. And, you know, I know, I don't know if any of you all remember that. Uh, I think it was baby Jessica or something like that. And that time when she was like going through this and she had a, a bad heart and was trying to do something to keep her alive. I mean, I'm, I'm not the one person to say, well, I'm deserve to live. Like, I mean, my time has come already. I mean, like, I'm 51 years old. I don't think I will like be here forever. I know that I'm not going to be here you know, on the way the world is going. I mean, who wants to live forever? But I'm not talking about that right now. What I'm talking about is, you know, we got to a point where we don't think about things like this, but we just don't respect life as it's supposed to be lived. I mean, we can go through thinking about, well, if somebody's past, we can take their organs out, like replace a heart or a cornea or a retina or something in their eye. Uh, take some skin and use it for burn victims and stuff like that. I mean, I understand all this. I can understand that it's like, you know, wow. It's not spare parts, people. Come on now. You don't just replace it like you're doing a, a car. You know, if you run out, the engine block goes out and then you get another part and stuff and replace it. It's somebody's life, man, that, that, that once upon a time was in existence. I mean, okay, so... It, it's going to be one of those controversial things, like, well, how do you feel, like, with somebody that you knew in your family needed a lung or a, a heart transplant, and then there was somebody else that could give it to them, and then, all of a sudden, you know, you think, like, well, somebody we against that, that, you know, it's that pro and a con. God, I mean, you know, like I said, now you wonder why I'm worried about how people feel in my circle or the people I know about little minor things. I mean, like I said, I'm, 
I'm not trying to associate this with what I'm going through right now. It's like it's just that the world is getting you to the point where you've got to think things. I mean, come on. We can't just be out here not walking down the street. Somebody don't just snatch one of us up and just take something from us that they want. You know, and I remember when it was a past, uh, a time when people used to get, I think it was a liver, where their kidneys get removed. And then you wind up finding a person in a bathtub you know, with a, a full of ice and somebody and left them in the tub, hopefully that baby nothing happened to them. You know, I mean, that's, that's like, wow. You know, we gotta start thinking now, people, that it's gonna be one of those times we got another thing to be afraid about. You know, you can't even walk down the street without somebody kidnapping you one day, uh, just to do something to you. Or, you know, they need something, they, they find out, you know, don't let the doctors know that you're a match, a perfect match for somebody. You know, they can get information on you and stuff like that. I mean, we're going to be living in a... Wow, what is that movie? Like, Soiling, not Soiling Green. I think it was a minority report or something like that. But anyway, we're going to start look people. We're going that way. I mean, seriously. I mean, technology is not what we got to fear. We got to fear people trying to live longer than they're supposed to. I mean, that's the only thing. So if this is in reach, a remark, or a response of what's going on. I mean, in the world today, this is like, if you see this happening in Haiti, I mean, if you don't know what we're gonna be able to face against, please don't. I'm just saying, I just had to get this one out. I mean, this is something I can't really, I can't fathom that, seriously. You know, this is, we live in a crazy world. And I mean, people, seriously, if we're going like this, we keep going like this, we all going to hell. Gasoline, drugs, I don't know who got that, but I'm telling you, we don't need no life. Right? I'm out, and I just had to get this one out. All right? Peace. Love you all, but I got, I got to go. I can't, I can't work on this no more. This is done.